What is it that makes a Tonto knife stand out so much in the combat world? In this video, I'll give you three things. Stick around. Ever since I started this channel, I have reviewed so many tactical fixed blades and so many of them have been Tontos. Right now, as we speak, countless individuals are prepared to correct me on the pronunciation of this blade. The truth is, people pronounce it a lot of different ways. When I do my research, the conclusion that I have come to is Tonto. Tonto. I literally went out and looked up the American pronunciation of that word. Now, Tanto is what some of you are wanting to call it. Some of you like Tanto. Tomato, tomato. Can we agree to disagree no matter what your conclusion is? No matter what, the origin of this thing goes back to Japan. Tanto is short sword. The Japanese Tanto is a little bit different from what we see here in America. If I'm not mistaken, Lynn Thompson of Cold Steel claims to be the father of the American Tanto, which he calls it Tanto. But this video has been sponsored by Takuma Tak, and this is the Tanto they sent to me. Now this model here is their Fulcrum. It is D2 steel, nine and a half inches, with a four and a half inch blade. They sent this per my request. They reached out to me and said, we would like for you to review more of our knives. But I'm really getting to the place to where I want to change up the way that I do reviews. Subject matter is the thing I'm the most passionate about, much more so than product pushing. And the subject of the Tonto knife is something I'm passionate about. And in this video, I get a chance to put this one on display for you. I saw this from their product catalog and I said, that's a pretty cool looking blade and I want to put this one on display for my subscribers while I talk about the significance of this type of blade. From what I've researched, this type of Tonto is the American version, because if you look at the original Tonto, it doesn't look like this, but there are a lot of things that make this design stand out in particular and make it very formidable. Number one, it's piercing power. This type of Tonto design pierces like hardly anything else. Not only is the tip very pointy, but it's very strong and reinforced. And this whole aspect of it here is very much like a guillotine. Without having to say too much though, you can look at the design of a blade like this and know that its piercing power speaks for itself and making it very popular in the tactical world, giving it the ability to pierce through body armor and different things such as that. And even if not body armor, just lots of clothing. Look at the penetration in that wooden target. This is just going to outperform other blades when piercing surfaces, especially something hard like this. Now the fulcrum they sent me does come with an incredible sheath. Their packaging is very, very, very stand out. And it does come with this tech lock, which can be upright or horizontal. The length of this carries very well horizontally across the small of the back. So it pierces like none other. But the second feature I want to point out is its ability to do very effective slicing and snap cuts right here at the intersection. Now let's think about the practical application of a snap cut and why this is so popular in the tactical field. The ability to do a snap cut could be very effective in a self-defense situation where you may be attacking the assailant's hand. Or let's just say it's two soldiers out in the field fighting for their life and they happen to get into a duel, a blade like this can attack the other person's hand very well if you can make a quick enough snap cut. And that's where something like that would really be effective is, you know, in situations like that. But even in day-to-day -day defensive situations, the ability to make a quick snap cut to, you know, someone trying to put their hands on you is where something like this really comes into play. Not only hands and things like that, but a quick swipe to a vital or the face. I'm gonna take a quick snap cut at this tree. It's already kind of beat up a little bit from where I've been missing in my throws. A standard curved blade is just not going to do the damage that something like this is going to do upon a snap. The third and final thing I wanna point out is the look. People buy blades like this because they got one thing in mind and it's because of the way it functions and the way it looks. It just screams combat, tactical, fighting, 
But to be fair, that's its roots anyway. This is just the more Americanized version. That being said, this was made in China. Many of you probably knew the answers to this coming into this video. A lot of times we watch videos to see if people think the way that we do. But the things that make the Tonto stand out is its piercing power, its snap cuts, and its look and what it represents. This is a combat knife. For the most part, I see something like this as something that would be carried, you know, by military personnel, people out in the field, special ops, different things like that. But this thing can be carried right out on the street, depending upon what your area or state laws are. I find it a little bit big and solid for everyday carry. Nevertheless, you can rock this. And as I mentioned, you can carry it pretty good across the small of your back. A lot of people like to get things like this because they just like to collect those solid fight and hit the fan blades. If you like mean, hard hitting Tonto combat blades, this is definitely one you may want to go out and take a look at. It does have a good weight and a good feel to it. I love that handle. I like the look of it. It's just got a really solid look. Pommel, solid skull crusher and pommel here on the bottom. And I think it throws well. As always, I'll drop a link in the description for you to go and check it out. I'm not making any commissions on the sale of these knives. I'm not a paid affiliate of Takuma Tech. I'm just putting their blades on display. Most importantly, I love talking about Tonto knives in general. What do you think about this particular type of knife design? Do you love them? Do you hate them? I'd love to know why either way. Take care.